Welcome to the official Euro Village podcast series, hosted by Rotterdam Nieuwe, live from het Nieuwe Instituut. Give a warm welcome to your hosts, Pim Roggeveen and Hugo van der Kooi. Welcome to the official Euro Village podcast series. Hugo, nice to see you again here on this beautiful location. I will never get used to this view, I think. Uh, with two brand new guests, uh, which I'm very happy to announce. Um, on my left side, uh, uh, Robert Wittenberg, brand manager of Tudok Horeca Group. Uh, you created a beautiful, um, also delicious uh, piece you will introduce later on in an episode. A sing-along cake. A sing-along cake, thank you very much. And uh, 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 across from me is uh, Annemieke van Wege Delhaas, uh, your project manager of the city dressing of, of, of Rotterdam. A big task uh, for you for this uh, uh, great event. Um, Annemieke, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you think about Eurovision? Um, well, I think um, music, Europe, mm -hmm. uh, getting together, um, and maybe, well, the first thing two years ago I thought about uh, when it was about Eurovision uh, is that it's a beautiful and very big, big event um, where you can um, reach the whole world with. Mm -hmm. And if you connect that to the values of Rotterdam, the, for the realness of Rotterdam, that you really can show the world what Rotterdam is like. And I think the values of the Eurovision, um, yeah, they suit Rotterdam and vice versa, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. So um, we are a city of a lot of different cultures, different people, bold people, you know, and... Literal, almost. Here. Bold, <laughs> very bold people. <laughs> Beautiful, bold people. Yeah. No, no. Uh, but I think um, we can learn from each other. Mm -hmm. And connection um, is something that, yeah, open up is not, we, we made this um, slogan, yeah. open up, not for nothing. How do you say it in English? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's there um, for a reason. It's there for a reason. Um, in Rotterdam, you can open up to yourself, who you are, who you want to be, um, and that's what Eurovision is about as well, I think. Expression through, through music and creativity. So that suits Rotterdam, I think. And open up is something that also uh, comes into play when it comes to, of course, the city dressing. But for the, for the listeners, what is city dressing? Uh, well, it's like dressing yourself in a nice suit, which, uh, which uh, suits your being, who you are. And that's what you do with the city as well. You dress it the way the city is. Mm -hmm. And what makes it such an important part of the Eurovision? Um, well, you, the Eurovision Song Contest has its own style and its own um, brand. And you dress the city with this brand. But in Rotterdam, we also want to show Rotterdam vibe. So we asked a lot of artists to dress the city the way they think the city should be um, like for the world. How do you say it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how do you say this? Um, so this is Rotterdam style. You have the Eurovision uh, brand and all Rotterdam and all uh, Holland will breathe this. Beautiful yeah. flags and banners. and Which posters. we see right now. Of and there's, yeah, there's part of your work here. Yeah. There's, there's no escaping it. Flags. It's yeah. literally and, and everywhere. And this is what, what the artist did. Volar Swart. Do you yeah. Volar Swart? We, we, we ask them to come up, come up with a concept how you can, through art, uh, show what Rotterdam is like. And this is what they did. I don't know if the the listeners can see it, but maybe if they click through Eurovision Village, they, they can will see, see the it, style. Yes. <laughs> and if they walk through the city, yeah. or then they will see uh, what it's like. And they are one of the five city dressers, artists, who, who, who had this um, opportunity to show Rotterdam through their art. So if we're, we're talking about, we're talking about um, city dressing, we, have, we talk about banners and flags, and what else? What else is there in the city? Um, well... The traditional way of dressing a city is with flags or with banners or with posters. Mm -hmm. posters. Um, but in Rotterdam, we ask artists to do it. And then you get a different vibe. Uh, in so what way? Well, we ask, asked a mothership, a light, uh, to... to, to um, how do you, oh, it's difficult to, to do this in, mm -hmm. in English. I talk all day long in Dutch, of course, about this <laughs> yeah. subject. Um, well, you ask an artist on an art discipline like fashion or a light performance or street art or um, uh, performing art. Mm -hmm. 
uh, to show the city, to dress the city, to to put a nice dress on the city, yeah. maybe like that. Um, and the then Eurovision stamp on the city. Not the Rotterdam stamp okay. during the Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, and then, well, Volar Swart did it with fashion. So they, you have these beautiful tapes from, from recycled flags with song contest uh, songs, mm-hmm. with the lyrics. Of Those the are song. these banners, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The sing-along. The sing-along, yeah. the sing-along vibe. And then you have another artist, uh, Mothership, who does everything with light. So they are going to put moving heads on top of the depot you see here wow. during the festival, but also in Hotel New York. Uh, and the mass silo. Mm-hmm. And they did the, the countdown, countdown and clock. And the countdown clock. Is yep. uh, it's all about light. And um, then the, uh, the our bridge, the Erasmusbrug, the famous bridge. Well, for us, it's a famous it's a bridge. Famous. <laughs> it's an um, icon. It's yeah. an icon. And it's 25 years old this year. A uh, symbol of uh, boldness, I, I should say. Um, and they will put that into light as well, within um, light performance mm-hmm. during the, the week of the festival. And then you have the, the, the street artists, Heis, Hip Hop in Your Small, yeah. Hip Hop in Your Face. <laughs> exactly. Um, and they uh, did a, l- a beautiful piece by Timon de Laat uh, in Rotterdam, the south of Rotterdam, near Ahoy, uh, the, the, the face of Jean Gu. It was a mural of Jean Gu we had him here in the first episode, yeah. Yes, and then they will also make a, a container village uh, with different artists all from Europe, yeah. street artists who will paint their symbol of Europe. In front of Ahoy, right? They yes. Talk about this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Timon uh, told us about yeah. it yesterday. It was yeah, pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, he was here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It was nice. And well, then you have Art Tenders. Um, that's uh, also an artist duo. Mm-hmm. And they made together with Cindy Bakker a splash. It's a pool, but it's a street art piece in a way, but then interactive. Yeah, it's near the theater of uh, uh, South Plain, right? That's, you should pronounce, pronounce this when you're from another country. Annie M. G. Schmidtplein. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> On the Annie M. G. Schmidtplein. <laughs> That's the test. <laughs> Near Ahoy, there's a there's a pool. Uh-huh. It's a, uh, but it's also next to a literal pool, right? Because it's a literal pool, yeah. and next to it there's an art piece of a yeah, it's a it's a graphic, uh, d- three dimensional, um, how do you call it? Um, interpretation yeah. of a pool, mm-hmm. and you can interact. It's uh, you can it's, you can use it as a stage. You can make a nice Instagram. Yeah, you know, you make a make a selfie uh, over there. Well, and then uh, you have Anna Blumendahl with flower deals. Uh, she invited twenty five photographers. First. Yeah, she was here yesterday as well. Oh, yeah. how nice! And um, she um, um, well, she yeah. asked all these photographers to f- to make pictures of singing Rotterdam people, people from Rotterdam, and they're all through the city. You can see them, but but Anna told this already, so maybe they already hear. Yeah, uh, listen to that story. So we're here with uh, with Mrs. Euro Village uh, <laughs> herself. Well, exactly. I, I could talk for hours, but because you, you've been English. you've been doing this for for the cup for the last two years, because last year it didn't it didn't come through, and now we're doing it again all over again, and it's it's uh, it's twenty. She's still here. She's still sitting here. So twenty four seven of, uh, of you doing your village stuff because it's uh, yeah two years yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought let's do this for six months. You know, I told my husband and my children for six months I will not be there. Mm-hmm. Well. It was <laughs> two years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I was there because Corona, COVID made that I was at home all yeah. the time. So good. So we have uh, so we have uh, Mrs. Euro Village to my right, and we have also Mr. Dudok on that side of the table. Um, Robert Witteveen, uh, Witteberg. I'm sorry. Um, what does Euro Village or Eurovision mean to you? Um, a lot of memories. As a child, I always watched um, the Eurovision Song Contest. And mostly that, actually. Um, a lot of memories about songs and music. And What's your first Eurovision memory? I think... It's in a way, that's asking how old you are. But <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm very indiscreet. I'm 48, <laughs> and I think it's the year, but I don't know the year, uh, when the song J'aime, j'aime la vie. Yeah, yeah. it's behind Somebody this year. Yeah. 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 So there you go. Yeah. Cool. Um, would you work for... A Rotterdam icon, which is of course Dudok, famous for its apple pie. Um, can we say that apple pie is Dutch heritage? Yes, you can. Yeah, say is that is it true? Dutch heritage. Yes. Is it also course. Rotterdam heritage or no? But our apple pie isn't very Dutch because it's got a crumble uh, on top, mm-hmm. 
and um, the cake is uh, invented by a former American colleague. Really? Yeah. With a Suriname colleague, right? Yeah. Together. Mix, a mix. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And she started Kukula, right? Uh, am I yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you, you moved here um, uh, from the uh, uh, eastern part of the country uh, um, to uh, 20, uh, 29 years ago. So you literally uh, saw Rotterdam develop as a city to what it is now. I mean, th this wasn't there. One of the examples, of course. Uh, barely anything was here. Barely anything was here. Um, well, 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 when I went walked out of Rotterdam Central Station uh, 29 years ago, there was nothing, literally nothing. It was empty. And well, you should. Why did you want to move to Rotterdam then in the first place? Because it's empty. Bec <laughs> well, because it there was empty. Because there's space yes. for people, mm. and um, to me, it was like a very non-Dutch city. Um, like you have the old cities of Utrecht and Amsterdam and Groningen, uh, which are historical towns. In Rotterdam, I think after World War II reinvented uh, itself mm -hmm. and still is reinventing uh, itself in a way and still is building the city in a really nice way. I love it. Did th is there something that, that really stood out for you? That you would say like when, when this came along in Rotterdam, um, it blew my mind or you really saw the vibe in the city change for the people that were living here? Well, as a as a former country boy, mm -hmm. <laughs> I felt very welcome in this town, and uh, I still feel well very welcome when I'm in Rotterdam. And when I started working as a as a student um, at our Dudok firm, mm -hmm. um, of course, I made uh, friendship with a lot of Rotterdam people. Uh, we went out uh, uh, during all night, um, and. That are and those are friendships for 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 life, mm. and I've got a friendship for life with this city. Yeah. Wow, it's amazing. And when did you start working at Dudo? Because um, you 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 came here to study, so, and that was 29, 29 years ago. Did you start working at, at Dudo at first, at, at in the f in the first place? The company exists uh, 30 years this year, and uh, when I came to Rotterdam, I wanted to work uh, in res in restaurant in the hospitality business, mm -hmm. uh, like I did before. Did you study that? Did you study that as well? No, I studied uh, uh, economics oh, there you go. at e Erasmus University, mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to work uh, in hospitality. So I, I, I had I had a shortly I had a job with a, a, a small hotel, a business hotel. Which was quite boring, mm -hmm. to be honest. And then when I could start at Dudok, um, well, it says it all. I never yeah. left 29 years ago. What, what did you do? Uh, working for a company for 29 years is pretty rare. What makes Dudok such a, a company that, that you don't want to leave it? Is it the apple pie? Is it so delicious? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm eating one a week. One a week. Okay, that's Still. okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, no, it's um, it's the thing that we are like a, 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 a big brasserie style a cafe where you meet each other mm -hmm. from eight in the morning till midnight. That's what I like. Yeah, and we opened up branches in in other cities in in Holland as well, um, but Rotterdam is hometown. Yeah, did you ever eat an apple pie that was more delicious than Dudok's apple pie? I hope my mother is not listening. <laughs> 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 so, um, of course, uh, you you and Anamika know each other very well. Um, well. Actually, we do know each other for 29 years. 29 years. You go way back then. Did you work at Dudok as well? Uh, no, but my friend did. And I went to the art school here when I was 17. And then after um, school, uh, we went... Have tr I went to pick up Tracy, that's her name. Tracy, are you listening? <laughs> and Shout out to Tracy. Tracy, and, um, and then we drank wine, and, and then I could stay with the crew, you know? I you do. You, yeah, you had these after drinks always, with, yes. the, with the, and it was nice. In the meantime, you started as a, as a, as a waiter. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. way down at the ladder. Of course. All the way at the bottom. And we started from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, and me at art school, so... Yeah. And then you had to involve Duduk, of course, in the... Uh, w was it you that, that, that took the first step to creating this 
amazing uh, sing-along pie, which we, we're going to taste uh, Yeah, because it's, it's, it's been staring at me it's this yeah, whole time. Right right? We have to middle. talk about this. I want to well, try it. Last year, you had the opening ceremony. Yeah. Um, and um, how do you call The cruise terminal. Cruise mm-hmm. terminal Rotterdam. Yes, yeah. and there I met, uh, and it's from the dock. Yes. And then I said to this guy, I think his name is Yelmer. Yes. Yeah. I said, you, you know what you should do as the dock? You should make a big contest in Rotterdam during the festival that all people from Rotterdam or from Holland can try to make a better cake than the apple, apple pie. And so this idea stayed and then Corona came and, and then we had a phone, I don't know, something, Carmen called me, I don't know how it worked, but... We got connected, uh, I think, um, via the people of Host City Rotterdam. Um, and we started talking about um, connecting the idea of our famous pies yeah. to this... And 30 years of Dudok, of, of course. Of course, to celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, and a connection between <laughs> music and I food. Know. I know how it went. We w- I wanted you on the clock, on the countdown clock, on the number 30... Because you were thir- mm. your thirtieth birthday, this was it. Uh, this is how it started, yes. I think. Yeah. yeah. So you came from a uh, from a contest to to make a pie that was better than an apple pie, which is basically Mission Impossible, to the sing along cake. And please, uh, uh, Robert, uh, um, open it up for us, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I mean, we really want to see it right now. <laughs> well, the, the box is about opening up. Okay. Um, tell me, tell me more about about how how this came to be. Um, well, first we started with the cake. Yeah. Um, um, we wanted to make an, a very colorful cake. Um, some p- some people would say it's a gay cake, mm-hmm. but it's it isn't. Um, it's a colorful cake. It's about the values of the city of Rotterdam, um, which uh, Anamik told us about already, which connect to the values of Dudok as well. Um, what are the values of the Dudok? Well, uh, there are many, but in this uh, case, I would like to say. Uh, Open up to Rotterdam also mm-hmm. uh, connects to our to our business. Um, yeah. You know, everybody is welcome. Stands for an inclusive yes society yes. in yes. Rotterdam. Yes, yeah. um, in our business uh, in the city center, uh, there are uh, working class people coming. Uh, the mayor is coming. Uh, the hookers are coming. Everybody is <laughs> coming. <laughs> so the pimps. Uh, uh, also. <laughs> No, no, that's a real, re- really weird image of Rotterdam. You have all sorts of people come to the dock. Yes, and they're yeah. all very From welcome. All layers yeah. of, the so- of society. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a few years ago, um, I uh, we also worked with uh, Studio Fuller Sort mm-hmm. uh, in another city uh, of Holland, Arnhem. Yeah, and I would like to say also that to say that this thing of city dressing in this city dressing way Anamik told us about, I actually think it's a Rotterdam-based invention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's true. Oh, really? Yeah. It's yeah, really yeah, unique. Yeah, so yeah, the yeah. way we city well, dress is yeah. like... Well, the, the city th- dressing as such is a Rotterdam invention. Uh, yes. Yes. 50 years ago, we started doing it by making murals by Karel Appel during Ahoy or events oh. around um, Wildhavendag. It was the Ahoy, yeah, yeah. Hello Ahoy yeah. or something yeah. was the first event here in the 50s. So it's... A, it, the dre- art, uh, yeah, es- expressing your vibe as a city through art is a Rotterdam thing, and that's city dressing. But Volar Swart, Studio Volar Swart, Swart um, made this term. Yeah, this, 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 yeah. this term? No? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 this yeah. Term, yeah. yeah this is what they made a book a few years ago. It's called City Dressing. So I have to give the credits to Studio Volar Swart for the, for the, yeah, for yeah. the, for the name, yeah. the City Dressing. And then, and a lot of people started using it. So, uh, but Volar Swart is the one, the, the the city dressing vibe. This thing, sing along city, that made you, made this, insp- you're inspired by yes, this, the yes. cake. And we were very proud that our um, Dudok building. It, uh, Dudok is a, a famous Dutch architect. Mm-hmm. Uh, architecture is. Everywhere, all around, all around <laughs> in, in Rotterdam. And last week we were the first building. Um, um, our Café Brasserie was uh, uh, styled in this way by Studio Full of Swart. So there are sing-along... Uh, um, the banners and the flags er- and oh, Everywhere, yeah. 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 So let's open up the cake Let's now. open it up, Please, guys. Do. Please. 
First, first of all, start with the box. I mean, we got three cameras. Just show the box itself <laughs> is a is a beautiful thing. What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> we got the logos everywhere. Full yeah. work, the the banners everywhere, and this, there's this um, is an important logo. It's mere music in the class. Mere More music, music in the classroom. Yes, for children. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what does that mean? Um, it's um, it's a, a Dutch. What's the word? Anemic uh, Stichting. Well, it's foundation. A, it's a Dutch foundation. foundation. Thank you, Pim. There we go. And they, um, it, our queen is the, f- is the front woman. She is. The, she is. Ambassador. Queen Ambassador. Queen Maxima. Yes, mm-hmm. Queen Maxima. And um, the, the foundation t- um, believes, and I, th- I believe that too, and I th- I'm for sure you, you believe it too, Robert, that it's important for children to get involved with music through school. Yeah. And uh, the doc um, donates every pie that you buy, a cake that you buy, buy, Every pie that you buy. Every pie that you buy. <laughs> um, they donate an amount of money to the Mere Music in the Class, which yes. is beautiful. Yeah. And this is how the way we like to do it in yeah. Rotterdam. Which is super fitting for the Eurovision yes. Song Festival of Good. Beautiful. Yeah. There you go. So what a suspense. Go. I mean, Let's open go. it up. Let's yeah. go. Open <laughs> it up. <laughs> Move that bus. Move that bus. <laughs> Look at that. Look Damn, at that. Damn, that looks beautiful. And it tastes good. Yes. Can we it taste does. it as well? Yes, it's of not too sweet. Awesome. Sh- d- 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 please. Please do the honors. Do the honors. Yeah. And it's Let me all put some and it's uh, and it looks really stand up right now. Colorful and you think, hmm, yellow and but it's all natural color. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. My natural hair color. Are you guys getting this? <laughs> Are we getting this? Amazing. All the layers. We got the logo on top. That's a big one too. Yummy, yummy. That's one. Thank you. Yeah, I'll pass it through. Lecker. Nice. Thank you. By the way, Anamik, I uh, I called you Mrs. Uh, Euro Village at the beginning of this podcast, but you uh, you tend to, apparently you know everything about everything in Rotterdam. So uh, from now on, uh, now on, I'm just going to call you either Mrs. Rotterdam or the the godmother of Rotterdam because nah, I, I, I don't mean, do that because <laughs> yeah, I wonder if there's anything you don't know about Rotterdam or you weren't there. Uh, I mean, you were there on on his first day at Dudok. You knew him. Hmm. No, I just. We'll l- give you a piece of our I fell in love with Rotterdam when I, when I was seventeen was years old. Seven? When I came to Rotterdam for my school, and um, in the beginning, it's hard to know Rotterdam. But when you get to know the city, then you, yeah, you, you never want to leave. So that that's what happened to me. All right, peeps. Um, please, thank you. Hey, thank you, Robert. I mean, me, uh, this is me, amazing. Me tasting. I feel like a uh, um, uh, hill on the box. The, the <laughs> program, you know? <laughs> you wanna wanna tell the listeners the bi- something the about the, the, the cake? B- uh, big British Bake Off, right? Yeah, Br- okay, big Rotterdam Bake Off. Well, the cake is um, it's it's a cake, uh, white chocolate oh, it's delicious. paste. Um, with do you taste the uh, strawberries? Wait, let me. A is every bit. color is a different a different taste? No, or is it just coloring? It's coloring, natural okay, coloring. Okay. That would be too much, I think. White chocolate fondue. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to do this, just eat on television, yeah. and <laughs> like it's I was so good. I hate people like watching <laughs> people eat on television, <laughs> but I love to do it on television. Wow. Okay, put your ear. <laughs> yeah, we can do an ASMR, ASMR, ASMR thing. <laughs> Thank you. I'll finish this later on. <laughs> um, I still have some questions for you uh, guys. Mmm, um, delicious. Yeah? Hey, by the We're way, happy can, about this. can people get this everywhere? At, at in Dudok, or is, this, um, is this a collector's item or you can just buy it everywhere? You can buy it from now on until um, uh, the end, uh, last week of May. Mm-hmm. Um, at our source and also eat it on our terraces. They just opened up yesterday. Yes, finally. Finally. When you when people will listen to this, they, uh, they'll, they're open. They'll know. One yeah. more thing about the cake. Yes. The colors of the cake will be uh, seen from next Monday, the 3rd of May, in the cru- cruise terminal Rotterdam. Light. Uh, light the Dis- same displayed colors. on the cruise yeah, terminal. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's great. Please watch it. It's on the um, south side of the city. Um... Anamik, before uh, this, uh, before we, we we went into this podcast, you you said something about the um, uh, uh, city dressing, the flags, 
because um, there are some things in Rotterdam that is very important to us, like sustainability, circularity. We have Blue City, of course, as a front runner in this industry. Um, how did that come to be also in the city dressing a part of? Uh, well, well, that's from my gut. Uh, I think it's important for the future of the world mm-hmm. to um, everything that you produce should be good stuff, and that means that it's not um, bad for the environment or for people. So um, all the things we make are, well, I try to do everything, but that's almost impossible. But yeah. we uh, accomplished 90% of all the, c- all the city dressing stuff oh. is, is a, um, duurzaam and it's sustainable. sustainable. Yeah. And it's also made by people uh, who sometimes can, can use a little bit more help in life. Yeah, so have a distance to the labor market, for yep. example. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I heard that all the, the flags are totally sustainable. Can you yeah. elaborate on that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's double duurzaam. It's double sustainable. Double sustainable. <laughs> What's double? What's double? Well, <coughs> well, th- all the flags you see and all the banners and the tapes, the sing-along tapes you see around the fl- uh, the flyovers of the, where the metro um, yeah rides mm-hmm. um, are made from pet flesse, you know, the plastics and their um, the, the bottle caps yep. and, yep. and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then um, after the festival, they will be crumbled to new. Parts right, yeah, and yeah. they make new flags of it, and I say double, um, double sustainable or du- double duurzaam, because um, there are also, f- um, um, well, I d- it's difficult to pronounce in English, mm-hmm. but um, the, how do you call it? The, the bouwdoeke, the event. Yeah, mm. so, so wha- wha- when, when the know? building is being made, and yeah. the, they they around cover it up, right? Yeah. With with and new around the events, you have these these frames. Yeah. And there are also the sing-along uh, city dressing on it. Um, but some of them are removed this week because we have a different location. And then we use that stuff again to make um, new uh, materials to be the, 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 all the benches around mm-hmm. the Mauritskade. And they're covered with that again. That's why it's double sustainable. Y- in one project, you reuse it again. That's great. Which is crazy. <laughs> Because you have to be crazy to do that. <laughs> Why should you? Because you want to show that it's possible. Yeah. And it takes a little bit more effort sometimes, and sometimes it seems like it costs a little bit more money. But at the end, it's not. It doesn't cost more money. Double I heard rewarding. Yeah. I'd say. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I even heard that the big um, Eurovision award that's uh, that's. Um, Getting placed in front of the central station, the big yep. microphone. Yep. That's even going to be three D printed with um, recycled Sh- plastic. Yeah. Shizzle from the harbor. <laughs> shizzle, shizzle from, from the harbor. harbor. <laughs> Shiz- harbor shizzle. Harbor well, shizzle. In the shizzle water, nizzle. you find a lot of plastics, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. RDM campus recycled that stuff, uh, and they use it to for the for the printing of the trophy. It's a trophy. Yeah, it's the Song Festival trophy. It will be you can sh- you can go and watch. It's it's actually like three and a half meters high. It's a f- four. Insane. four four meters <laughs> high even uh, <laughs> because it's also on correction. a on a <laughs> how do you call it pedestal? pedestal yeah. 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 yeah, and it's in front of the central station. So so you should check it out and make a picture of yourself next to this thing. Tag uh, tag on a mic. Absolutely <laughs> not because I'm. I- it's not about me. But tag Rotterdam, make it happen. Then you make the city happy. And open happy. up to Rotterdam as well, right? And open up to Rotterdam. Perfect. Yeah. And Eurovision and everything, yeah. yeah. To each other. To each other, yeah. yeah. To before yourself. We, uh, before you finish up here. Uh, and send it to your friend in Sydney or in New York. or yeah. Put <laughs> Rotterdam on the map. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I would like. Um, before we finish up here, um, first of all, thank you so much for, for being here and sharing your passion and your vision for um, uh, for Rotterdam, of course, the city itself, but also and your, your special story, itself. special stories. Um, before you, uh, Robert, what is your favorite Eurovision song? If you had to choose one from the past years, Duncan Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, Arcade, Arcade, of course, the winning song. Not uh, what's another year. No, what's another year? <laughs> that's that's my favorite. This, this is your favorite. What's another year? Which is from ni- 1960? Oh, or uh, Johnny Logan. Johnny Logan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's very um, suitable for the situation we are in right now. Yeah. yeah that could have been a, a song that, that's written this year. Because when I yeah. received the the, uh, the the scarf, I thought it was about this year. year. I was yeah. like, 
Oh, yeah. that's 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 spot French on, right? French that, that's French. how not informed that was. Yeah. <laughs> I said, well, "Hey, this I made they made this for this year." No, it was a song like yeah. back way back. Anyways, um, thank you, Anamika. Thank you, Robert, for being here, uh, sharing your uh, your stories, sharing, of course, the pie, which we're gonna enjoy right now. Also for the camera people, of course. Um, Hugo, <laughs> glad you were you were here again. Um, thank you, Pim. See you. Uh, see you soon. See you. Thank you, Hugo, Pim. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thanks. Nice meeting you, Anamik. <laughs> see you around. <laughs> Ciao. Bye, guys. Did you enjoy this show? Don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends and family. Open up to Rotterdam. <laughs>